this is more of like deep learning zone where it's like, all right, we're down here. What's happened, right? Or she, Sorry, she had an idea. I just got an idea. <laughs> what if we made this like a pool and it's called the pool of reflection? <laughs> I like that. What's up guys, what's going on? Today I just wanna let you know that we are separating aspects of the channels together. So first and foremost, the Matthias channel will remain more entertaining stuff, more content that's like about the personalities of High Five, the stories of High Five, the fun of High Five, right? And while this channel will start to get more of the discussion, more of the leadership, the business, my question to you is what do you guys wanna see in this channel? I have some really fun ideas. Like for instance, today I'm doing a work stream. For those of you not familiar with what a work stream is, that is a stream where I work and you work alongside me. Pomodoro technique, 25 minutes, then five minute break, then 25 minutes again, and then I get on to the rest of my day. But I've just noticed a lot of people find those helpful, find those motivating, and I think that's pretty cool. And so I'm already doing some work, why not stream it? Chat with you guys for five minutes in between those Pomodoro sessions. It definitely helps focus, it definitely helps attention, especially when you use this. Now, a lot of people might freak out with this kind of thing because, listen, listen. That helps me focus. I have a tendency to get distracted. I think most people have a tendency to get distracted, but the ticking kind of brings me back, kind of refocuses me. I, I start to hear it and I'm like, oh, I need to get back on task. It's like this really subtle reminder to help me focus. So right now, pretty much, I'm just gonna get into figuring out how to set up my stream so that there's a timer on stream and that's all I got right now. No, that's a lie. I actually have one more thing, content. Like I asked you a question, I totally forget if I answered my own question, but some of the content ideas I have for this channel are you know, obviously answering your business related questions. I have an idea to stream where I take phone calls from viewers who have businesses or YouTube channels or anything like that. And I give you some like quick, like two to five minute advice. I think that's pretty cool. I have another idea where CEO reacts to good and bad startups in the vein of like Corridor Digital's special effects. Obviously theirs is a lot more interesting because it's special effects, but I find startups interesting. Let me know if you guys like that down in the comments below. There's a board that you can vote on that you can also list your ideas in. You don't have to come up with an account or log in or anything like that. You can just click on the link and just submit ideas for the exec channel. So I'd really appreciate that. I'd love that. But let's get into the live stream. Hey guys, welcome to Ask Matthias on the exec. Are you looking at me? You said that question. I don't know. I didn't even know you were there. Sam's got some questions from the question board. If you guys want to ask questions down below, there's a link to a Nolt board. Nolt. It's a weird name, I know, but you can ask questions, upvote other ones you see. You don't even need an account. Let's go. Let's do it. Question number yeah. 1,881. Yeah. If you receive fan art, would you ever do a video or at least a video segment of it? already done it. By the time you're seeing this, you should actually see me reacting to my subreddit. Definitely gonna do that again. That was probably the most fun I've had shooting in a long time. Really? Yeah, it was so funny. I almost destroyed my computer. Oh. It wasn't funny. Oh. It was funny a little, but it, it's, it, it would have sucked. It was an expensive <laughs> computer. Question number 1,860. Sometimes there's business content. Sometimes it's skits. <laughs> sometimes it's recommendations and reviews. Sometimes it's reacting to fans. Yeah. And sometimes it's completely random. I'm not really sure yeah. what this channel is, and I don't know what to expect from each video. That's a long question. What's a short description of this channel? Sorry, so, you better explain my question. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my question. Just Pat's question. <laughs> so I talked a little bit about this earlier, but we're, we're separating right now because I saw a lot of viewer feedback that was just like, I don't even know what this channel is about. I'm gonna clarify for you right now, the Matthias channel is more about just like, my creations, what I'm making and me hanging out with you guys and just kind of like personalities around the studio. It's like the fun side of High Five and like what I make. And the exec channel is gonna be more of like where I tell you things I've learned, things I've found, my strategies, my tactics, and a little bit more raw technical strategy, leadership, business, all of that good stuff. So if you're interested, subscribe. Love to have you. Sick. <laughs> Question number 185. Yeah. Yes. What is your take and opinion on workplace relationships? Do you have certain policies or guidelines regarding romantic relationships? And is this something that has come up during your time as CEO? Yeah, people have definitely dated. I don't particularly have an issue with it, but here's the real thing. What? <laughs> Tanner. She keeps looking at me. Like, <laughs> like, here's the real Here's the real <laughs> thing, Tanner. All right. Okay, tell me. Tanner and Pat, this is for you. No, I'm just kidding. Here's the real thing. 
I just expect people to behave like adults. If they're coming in here and they break up, fine. Like, break up, I don't care, but behave like an adult. If it's all of a sudden causing issues with your work, then your breakup that you cause is a part of your issue and not mine. Does that make sense? That makes Did I miss perfect something? sense. Did we have a breakup here? Uh, no, I don't think we've ever had a breakup. It's more so from the standpoint of saying, like, if someone comes to me and they're like, I'm having trouble with this, I'm like, that's your, that's your relationship. That's, that's yeah. your thing. Don't bring it inside the workplace. If you bring it inside the workplace, now it's my business and now I'm making yeah. changes, right? And some yeah. of those changes might be removing people, right? And it's probably, most likely, both the people that are causing the problem. <laughs> it's a little tricky if you're not emotionally stable. Don't get in a relationship at work. <laughs> you're pointing, you're talking about me. I know, you were just looking at me, so I was looking okay. at you. I'm emotionally unstable. <laughs> 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 he gets immediately defensive. No, you're super stable, Pat. <laughs> what do you guys think down in the comments below? How would you handle a workplace breakup? Personally, I feel like if I was breaking up with someone, it would have to be like, hey, listen, uh, like, we got to keep this out of work. If, yeah. it, if it comes into work, then it's all of a sudden going to be everyone else's business. Or don't date someone at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a problem with people dating at work. Again, it, the expectation is that you behave Adults. like an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Not kids in a high school that are just like, he said something that hurt my feelings! Ow. That's Was that too loud? Uh, yeah, hello. Did it hurt your feelings? <laughs> <laughs> hello and welcome. Today we're doing a video for our journey board. If you're not familiar with what journey board is, back on my channel, the Matthias channel, we started this process in which this tracks our journey through the goal of our quarter, which is profitability. We're helping profitability happen, which is pretty awesome. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with where we've progressed and how we've gotten here, we all started here. Going this way on the board is results. Going that way on the board is time. So we're always moving this way, no matter what. But we can't move that way unless we get results. As you can see, we kind of split up here and we took different paths. The path that I took, if I'm not mistaken, was this nice little road that I found because we started having pretty good success here, right? And so I found a road, we got on the road, and it was pretty awesome. Now, some of these other key results here were a little bit more difficult to achieve. Uh, you can see in the past video where we've had the updates. I'm just giving you this right now so you, you might not have to go through all those previous ones. But we started getting a, a little bit of results, but we have a decent way to go to get back up there. This key result is revenue on the Matthias channel. These key results, Sam and Will Woods. I don't know merch. who that is. Merch, launching merch campaigns. This is our membership website. These are collabs. So where are we now? Is this where we're at now? I don't know. This yeah, is the, the first of September. For me right now, my results, where I was, was like, I think we were reaching 40K, but we like- You said the other day that we dipped a little bit because we, we did yeah, because we missed some uploads because we shifted the content, basically. The little van's going about 5K down because we didn't upload like a couple videos, literally. Mm -hmm pretty significant change when you don't upload just like a couple videos on YouTube. Feed the beast. What's your goal in revenue? 50K. 50K? This is the top of the board. Sword. Yeah, so it's 40. So 40. Uh, this was like 60% for you, right? Yes. Okay. It's right so here. So you're going to go. Yeah. That's your end point. Yeah. What do you want your path to look like getting there? We dipped down a bit, so we missed uploads. Well, because we were uploading some content that I don't think people really enjoyed, we uploaded more of the business stuff on the Matthias channel, and like I don't think people were enjoying that, so we stopped uploading, so that was more of an intentional choice. What might represent a complication, not a complication, but a challenge with like content shifts? Oh, it should be like an angry mob, because the viewers <laughs> were like, we don't like it, we don't want it. Yeah, they weren't necessarily okay. angry, they're well, just yeah. they're just like we don't hang with this. It's more of like a passive aggressive mob. <laughs> that is just like the worst kind of mob. we would rather That's you not. Kind of yeah. I don't think anyone was upset or anything like that. They were just like this isn't interesting. Maybe you just you got rejected because there was a gate and they're like, nah, we're we're not gonna let you into this club. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm Because you're not I'm cute good. enough, Matt. <laughs> Is that how it makes you feel when we don't get views? That people don't think you're not cute, cute enough? enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm really worried about my attractiveness. Oh. Um. <laughs> what if you just hit a dead end? Yeah, so what if it was just kind of like a end of road, like, you know, those construction signs yeah. that are just like, road does not continue. So this, which represents the views, we're riding up here, we're riding up here, and we hit the end of the road, and we are like, ah, oh, shoot, it's there's not a through way here, and it's just rocks. Still construction on. Yeah, there's still on. construction. <laughs> yeah, still construction going on in this road. So we're like, nah, we got to go around, we got to figure something else out. What do you think about these guys? Have we made any movement, or are we still moving forward on time. If we've sold more, we'll have the samples either today or tomorrow, and then we should be getting a sample of 
the masks. They only have one mask. I have the stats on it. I put it in the merch Great. Slack. Yeah. So that we have a mask and then we have the fan stuff that we also want to launch. So those are the two things, right? Mm -hmm. So the next thing we have to do is we have a campaign where we're taking fan submissions. And so I'm going to review those and I'll pick two designs, one that I like a lot and ones that the fans have all picked. Okay. And that will be the final design. Then hopefully we'll be able to launch up there with this guy. So Sam on, on okay. this one. So this is our little membership buddy, Evie. Yeah. Now the delay there, we had picked the website that we were yeah. going to choose, but there were some like technical difficulties and you were trying to get in touch with them, but you felt like their customer service yes. was pretty whack. So yeah. we were kind of at a stall yes. and we were like, Ooh, we don't know what we're going to do with this. So my thinking is we put a bridge with like a troll under it <laughs> because it's like, Oh, bad customer service. Yeah. Equals troll. Like we yeah. don't. Is this troll gonna yeah. let us pass? Yeah. At the end of the day, I did get through. But was it, it a bad it, it troll took, or a good troll? It was like. He was just a lazy troll. Just a lazy troll. Yeah, like someone just dropped the ball on customer support. See, that's cute because then if there's a little bridge here, the troll like let us pass yeah. underneath. So yeah. we're still going this yeah. way. And so then... The collabs, we're going to film one by tomorrow. So do we want to count that? I say that's fine. Yeah, we can because we, we should be tracking tomorrow technically. So tomorrow we're going to move to over here. This is the two marker for yeah. collab. So little ducky boy. Little duck it's boy. It's gonna somehow come here. And now with little ducky boy collab, um, gosh, what should we oh, represent? I don't know. Does ducky boy need representation? <laughs> <laughs> what about Sierra? Technically, I think yeah, she it, still it, zero. It, I still believe that we can we can do something great, but we're running out of time here. I wish there was a, a way to track like what we've like learned over this experience because that's a result in of itself, not of our goal, but like for sure it's like. Something learning. pretty valuable. It's valuable if you use it yeah. to get results. Yeah, at the end of the day, we have to make sure we're utilizing leverage to actually get real results. And oh, the, no, like yeah, you, I wasn't saying for this. No, I know. I, I agree with you. Like the only thing I'm saying is, oftentimes we're tracking the wrong results too. I don't think with this one we're tracking the wrong result at all but i think oftentimes you can get all caught up on getting fixated i i think it's called target fixation where you focused on this goal that's irrelevant now and so yeah <laughs> do you yeah <laughs> you want to make sure you're constantly reevaluating your goal so that you don't fixate on something that's no longer relevant and you don't let sunken costs mm -hmm. motivate your decision making moving forward now that we have like one month left you can see we're in a little danger zone so we have to actually start thinking and really strategize on, okay, we have limited time. What's the most impactful thing we can do now? Let's say like someone ends up here. What is this space in between Termination Cliff and the Kingdom of Profitability? This pip zone. Pip zone. No, we don't do pips. <laughs> no. So a pip, what he's referencing is called a performance improvement plan. We've done pips in the past. I don't think they actually work correctly because I think like the reality of the situation is you need to be having like synchronous conversations with people consistently and not all of a sudden blindside them with, you're not doing great and you're going to be terminated if you keep this up. Like you need to be constantly on people like, hey, I'm not getting results I need from you. And like, I don't think it's a big surprise to someone when you constantly go up to them where like you know like a month two months three months later you're like we have to part ways because this isn't working out for either of us here's the hard truth to really understand the person that's not getting results they don't like not getting results either it's a really stressful experience right oftentimes for someone that can't get results because of a lack of skill or a cultural issue fit it's not fun for them either so it's like, it's just kind of a hard thing that takes a lot of courage to just break that up a little bit and to say like, we're probably better apart than we are together. This is investigation zone. This is more of like deep learning zone where it's like, all right, we're down here. What's happened? We just let things slide or was it because we strategized incorrectly? What can we take away from this and what can we not do again? Right? Or she, Sorry, she had an idea. I just got an idea. <laughs> what if we made this like a pool and it's called the pool of reflection? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so yeah, pool of reflection because that's the most important thing. You don't want to be consistently be like reaching half of your goal. Goal setting, there is an art to it and you shouldn't beat yourself up about not achieving a goal 100% because if you achieve 100% of your goal, maybe you haven't set it high enough, but realistically, you want to be able to get good enough goal setting where it's high enough for you to be like, yikes, I need to do something really magical here. Otherwise it's not going to happen, but not so low that you're like, 
I'm gonna nail that really quick. Anywhere from 70 to like 90% is like the sweet spot of like really where you wanna be. Unless you reach 100% and it's like the last day, then you're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> when you end up in this zone consistently, then that's kind of like an automatic this area. We're either failing to achieve goals or we're failing to adapt to the environment. The land of mediocrity. <laughs> but even like during a pandemic like this, right? We've been in this pandemic for like six months. There's a period where something hits and you need to adapt. So all the people that are like possibly out there still really angry, like I get it, we're having a hard time things have changed, but there's an inability to adapt to an environment if people can't make it work within a long period of time, like five, six months. So it sounds harsh, but that's life. Yeah, so that's where we're at here. So we're gonna catch up with you next week with another journey board update, where we're gonna recap again what we've accomplished through this week, but we're gonna get together, we're gonna zone in and figure out some strategies to make some movement next week week in a big way. Guys, if you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments below. If you didn't enjoy this and you thought it was dry or boring, let me know down in the comments below. This is a business, leadership, personal development type channel. So if you're looking for like really super entertaining stuff, this isn't for you. But let me know, <laughs> let me know. We do have that stuff, just a different channel. This is more of just like helping people make magic. So go out there, make some magic, and we'll see you next time. Love you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>